everyone ios 16.4 has just came out in a beta format so let's go and take a look at it i did install it on my iphone 14 pro now the size of this update wasn't super big in fact i couldn't really see it i think it was like a one point something gigabytes you know coming from ios 16.3 but that's kind of where we were at now this does say the beta version of ios 16.4 contains bug fixes and improvements and let me tell you there are some really big movements going on here which is really cool now the first thing I want to state is that we actually have some new emojis now. Now apparently this is the first time Apple's added emojis in more than a year. I find that hard to believe, but I kind of believe it since Apple's been like on a slowdown of you know upgrading emojis and whatnot. So just a few that we have basically around us. Oh, what is this? Basically a few that are now added is there's a new donkey emoji, jellyfish, jellyfish. There's a pink heart emoji. There's a goose emoji, there's a shaking face, there's a lot of cool things. So if you click here and if you type in, let's just say goose, there should be a new goose emoji. I don't know if this is the one they're referring to. I think it is. And there's also a new, I guess, shaking face. So what you can do is if you have the ability of you know, installing this beta, which I would not recommend doing it, you should be able to now see these new emojis, which is super awesome. And whenever Apple adds anything remotely close to this kind of stuff, it's always so cool. What's funny is they've been on a slowdown of actually bringing in and you know giving us features. So I'm really happy they're at least giving us some features in this specific point. But another thing that they just added, now there's probably more features, but another big thing they added here, which is pretty wild, is actually within the web browser. So what Apple's done, and this is very interesting, they have now given us the ability of basically when we add an application to our home screen, so you know if you have certain applications that don't want to be installed through the App Store, you have the ability of installing them via you know add to home screen method. There's a lot of emulators that are like this. Well, now they've given us the ability to actually go through and to receive push notifications from those specific applications. And just like how we have notifications or you know badge notifications, if you get like your iMessages or whatever very similar to my phone calls right here. You see how there's like a little badge notification on top of that that says how many missed calls I have. Apple has now given us the ability of getting that via our web, you know, installed at the home screen web applications. So this is really big. And the reason for that is because from what I've heard, Apple's in this like antitrust lawsuit, whatever. So because of that, they're wanting to give as many capabilities within their at the home screen, like within their web browser. So people, so basically Apple doesn't have to go ahead and allow third party applications. They are going to do everything they can to basically make sure they, you know, give as much they can via the at the home screen method rather than installing a third party application. So I'm really happy they've done this, and I hope this pushes a lot more developers to actually create more applications via the you know add to home screen method. So if you're a developer and you're watching this, I would recommend if you don't want to go through the app store and if you don't want to go through the whole entire process, make a web app. You know, make sure it's compatible via add to home screen, and I would 100% recommend sending it to me because then I would go check it out because I think that's a really cool thing. So. Those are pretty much the main updates. There's going to be lots of improvements within this beta series, which is super exciting. So let me know your thoughts of it in the comment section below. Hit the like button. That would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out.